You just spent money on a fresh oil change for your diesel, thinking you're protecting your engine. But what you do in the next 30 minutes could undo all that protection and cause thousands in damage. Most diesel owners make these critical mistakes right after an oil change without realizing they're destroying the very engine they're trying to protect. Today, I'm exposing the five things you must never do after a diesel oil change. These mistakes are so common that mechanics see the catastrophic results almost daily, yet nobody talks about them. Make sure to watch till the end because mistake number five happens within the first 60 seconds after starting your engine and it's responsible for more diesel failures than any other post-oil change error. Mistake number one, immediately driving hard or demanding heavy loads. You just finished changing the oil or picked up your vehicle from the shop. The engine fires up and you're eager to get back on the road. Maybe you're running late or need to merge into highway traffic. So you jump straight into heavy throttle and high loads. This is one of the most destructive things you can do to a diesel engine with fresh oil. Here's what most people don't understand. Even though you just put in fresh oil, it takes time for that oil to circulate through every passage and component in your engine. Your turbocharger is especially vulnerable. Turbo bearings spin at speeds exceeding 150,000 revolutions per minute and rely entirely on pressurized oil for both cooling and lubrication. Fresh oil needs time under gradually increasing loads to reach optimal operating temperature and viscosity. The oil pump needs time to purge any air that entered the system during the oil change. Air pockets in oil lines can cause momentary oil starvation that, under high loads, can score bearings and damage precision surfaces. The proper procedure after the initial idle period is simple, but critical. Drive gently for the first 10 to 15 miles, keeping RPMs moderate and avoiding heavy acceleration or loads. No full throttle pulls, no steep hill climbs under heavy load, no highway merging at full boost. The few minutes of patience could save you a $2,000 turbocharger replacement or a $12,000 engine rebuild. Mistake number two, not checking for leaks immediately after the oil change. You finish the oil change, start the engine, confirm it's running, and drive away. This assumption that everything is fine has led to countless catastrophic engine failures. Oil filter gaskets can fail to seal properly, drain plugs can cross thread, and oil cooler lines can be left loose. These problems don't always show up immediately as puddles on the ground. Here's the proper inspection protocol. Start the engine and let it idle for a full minute while you visually inspect every area that was disturbed during the oil change. Look at the oil filter mounting surface, the drain plug, and any oil lines that may have been disconnected. After the initial inspection, let the engine run for another two to five minutes, then shut it off and check again. Sometimes leaks only become apparent once the engine reaches operating pressure. Check the oil level after this warm-up period as well. Don't trust that whoever did the oil change got everything right. Whether it was a professional shop or yourself, mistakes happen. A five-minute inspection could prevent a $10,000 mistake. Mistake number three, overfilling or underfilling the engine oil. Both overfilling and underfilling can cause serious engine damage, and the symptoms often don't appear immediately. When you overfill a diesel engine, the crankshaft and connecting rods can contact the oil in the crankcase. This causes oil foaming or aeration, where air gets whipped into the oil. Aerated oil can't maintain proper pressure or provide adequate lubrication. Overfilled oil also creates excessive crankcase pressure. This forces oil past seals, leading to oil consumption and potential turbocharger seal failures. Underfilling is equally dangerous. Insufficient oil means your oil pump may draw air instead of oil under certain conditions. This leads to momentary oil starvation that can damage bearings and turbochargers. Here's the correct procedure. The engine must be on level ground and at operating temperature. Shut off the engine and wait 5 to 10 minutes for oil to drain back into the pan. Pull the dipstick, wipe it clean, reinsert it fully, then pull it again for an accurate reading. The oil level should be between the minimum and maximum marks, ideally closer to the maximum but never exceeding it. If you discover you've overfilled or underfilled, correct it immediately. Mistake number four, revving the engine during the first 30 seconds after startup. A lot of diesel owners do this without thinking. They finish the oil change, start the engine, hear it settle into a smooth idle, and give it a couple of quick throttle blips just to check things. This is one of the worst times you can rev a diesel. When you first start the engine after an oil change, the oil filter is still filling, the oil galleries are stabilizing, and the top end of the engine hasn't received full lubrication yet. Even though you see oil pressure on the gauge, the lubrication film hasn't completely formed on the camshaft, rocker arms, or turbo bearings. Revving the engine in this moment raises RPM before those components have an oil barrier protecting them. 
That split-second dry contact creates accelerated wear that you won't see until thousands of miles later. The correct move? Start the engine and let it idle naturally no throttle input at all for the first 30, 60 seconds like I mentioned on number one. Let the oil pressure and flow stabilize fully before touching the accelerator. After the idle period, drive gently for the first 10 to 15 miles. Keep RPMs moderate and avoid full throttle acceleration. You're allowing the fresh oil to reach every corner of the engine under gradually increasing loads. Mistake number five, trusting the oil life monitor right after your oil change. This is one of the most common traps diesel owners fall into immediately after changing their oil. You finish the service, start the engine, the change oil soon, message disappears, and you assume the truck's computer will keep you safe from here on out. That assumption destroys more diesel engines than people realize. Here's the truth nobody talks about. Your oil life monitor does not measure oil quality. It doesn't know how much soot is in your oil. It can't detect fuel dilution. It has no idea how much towing, idling, heat, or heavy load your diesel experiences. All it does is make a rough estimate based on driving patterns. And that estimate is often dangerously optimistic. Many oil life systems will happily let you run 10,000 to 15,000 miles on the same oil. That might work on a small gas engine, but on a high compression diesel with massive soot output and extreme turbo temperatures, that interval is a direct path to heavy soot buildup, thick sludge deposits, viscosity breakdown, and excessive blow-by. The right approach is completely different. As soon as the oil change is done, stop relying on the percentage on the dashboard and track your mileage yourself. Use a sticker, a reminder on your phone, or simply write down the odometer reading. Stick to a consistent interval between 5,000 and 6,500 miles, regardless of what the monitor claims. That habit alone will keep your oil fresh, your soot levels low, and your engine properly protected. At the end of the day, a diesel engine is one of the most demanding, hardest working machines you'll ever own. It relies on clean, properly circulated oil more than anything else under the hood. And the truth is, most engine failures don't come from bad parts or bad fuel. They come from small mistakes made by good owners who simply didn't know any better. What you do in the first few minutes after an oil change sets the tone for the next 5,000 miles. Gentle driving allows fresh oil to stabilize. Proper inspection prevents leaks from turning into disasters. Accurate filling protects bearings, turbos, and seals. And refusing to rely on the factory oil life monitor keeps your diesel on a safe, consistent schedule instead of a computer's guess. Treat these moments seriously and your diesel will reward you with years of strong performance, clean operation, and reliable power. Ignore them, and you're gambling with the most expensive part of your entire vehicle. Take care of your diesel, especially right after an oil change, and it will take care of you every mile down the road. Thanks for watching. Until next time.